Hello everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a fun little cozy fall day in my life. I am so excited to take you guys along on this vlog today. It is going to be so much fun. It's actually after Labor Day and I swear we left for the lake and it was summer weather and then we came home to like autumnal fall weather and I am living for it and I just felt so motivated and inspired to pick up the camera and film kind of like a cozy little fall day in my life. I wanted to show you guys a little neutral fall transition clothing haul from White Fox Boutique. They're actually sponsoring today's video. And then I wanted to head out and see some more home decor at some more stores. A little birdie, aka my mom, told me that some more stores have stocked their fall home decor. My mom is just obsessed with fall as I am and Halloween. So we're gonna go check those out. And then I also wanted to do my autumn bucket list for you guys. It's gonna be a super fun fall pumpkin-y day and I cannot wait to take you guys along. These were some of my favorite videos to film last year and I love having them to look back on. So I'm really excited to take you guys along on my day today. Like I said, today's video is sponsored by White Fox Boutique. It's an absolute dream and honor to be working with them. I have been loving their pieces for so long and you guys know I'm kind of trying to downsize my closet and really work on investing in versatile pieces that I can use working in the office, but also dress up for date night. And I truly believe that White Fox Boutique has an amazing selection of those pieces. So I cannot wait to show you guys the things that I found. White Fox Boutique also carries White Fox Swim and White Fox Active. They offer afterpay to their US, Australian, and New Zealand customers and worldwide express shipping, which is amazing. I cannot wait to show you guys the pieces that they sent over. So anyways, before we get into the haul, I wanted to give you guys the discount code in case you saw anything in the haul that you wanted to shop. So anyways, they were super kind and offered 15% off to anyone who uses the code Carter, which I'll have on the screen and also down below for you guys to shop. But I wanted to tell you guys that before we got into the haul. And if you see anything you like, you can just open the link and shop it right there with my discount code. Once again, a huge thank you to White Fox Boutique for sponsoring today's video. And let's jump into the haul because I'm truly so excited to show you guys the pieces that I got. So, and this is the Future Moves sweater in mocha in the large slash XL for reference because I am 5'11". And I wanted it to be a bit oversized and it's just perfectly oversized on me. I love the detailing on it. So it's a little bit more different than a normal quarter zip. Has a bit more detailing, which I love. It has the little ribbed bottom here so you can wear it like this or you can tuck it in like i do i just love it i think it is so cute and i'm really into chocolate this year which is a color i never thought i'd venture into but white fox made me fall in love with like the chocolate brown color this i love this great little work from home sweater or going to grab like a pumpkin spice latte i really really love it this sweater is my favorite item from the whole collection that they sent me i am obsessed with it so so this is the way home sweater in the gray marl i love the whole like ribbed textured sweater look i think once again it's just a really fun way to spruce up an oversized sweater and give it a bit more detail and make it kind of stand out a bit more it is the comfiest thing in the world it has the white fox logo in the corner here and i just love it it's perfect for like a warm fall day because it doesn't have any fleece inside of it yeah this is definitely my favorite 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 piece hands down i wore it all weekend i love it definitely out of my comfort zone but so cute this is the behind the look shirt in chocolate button up shirts are so trendy this season and i love the look of this one once again getting into like the more chocolatey colors i love it it's very nice and lightweight so even if you're kind of in a warmer climate you could totally wear this and you guys know how much i love versatile pieces pieces that i can wear to work but pieces i can also dress up for date night or shooting outfits and that's why i love button down shirts because you can wear them to work, very elegant, would look really great with a pair of dress pants. My friend Rachel on YouTube is like the queen of button up shirts and she just rocks them. So you could also wear out with some jeans on a date night, maybe like unbuttoned with like a nice little like lacy tank top underneath. I just love it. This is so cute. Well, I find that button up shirts can be kind of like stiff, like men's shirts. But this one is so breathable, lightweight. I love the fabric of it. It's nice and shiny. And honestly, I am just super into this one and I love it so much. 
definitely feeling really trendy with this piece the keep on going sweater in taupe once again i just love how white fox sweaters just are a bit different than like the average crew neck and hoodie i love the stitching on this once again makes you stand out this is a medium large the large extra large was sold out and it's perfectly oversized so this one definitely runs a bit more oversized than the other ones do but i love it once again it's a great kind of textured sweater so you can kind of dress it up a little bit to go and get a coffee with friends or even working from home this one does have the fleece inside so it's definitely better for like a chillier day but I love it so much. I've been wearing this a ton of working from home. Dress, you guys. I am so obsessed with. So hard to find dresses being 5'11 and being kind of like mid-size. This is the Is This Love mini dress. I find anything ruched is super, super flattering, especially when you're tall. It gives you a shape. And I love this so much. Once again, great thing about this. Totally wear it to work with like a blazer. You can also dress it up for a date night. I plan on bringing this to Disney World with us and wearing it with like a cute pair of ears. But this is definitely going to be a staple in my collection. I love it. It's very appropriate with a blazer for work, like I said, with the thicker. Yeah, I love it so, so much. And the best part about dresses, once again, we love versatility, is you can totally layer a sweater on top and make it more of a fall outfit. So let me show you. All right, so this is the Crash Into You Knit in gray. You've probably seen Sarah's Day wear this. I literally have been obsessed with this sweater forever. And once again, it's so cute to layer. It is a little bit more on the crop side. My waist is like right here, which makes it perfect to layer with a cute little mini dress for like work or going out, going to the pumpkin patch, you name it. I love it. I love it so much. I love this outfit. Versatile to wear to work and out on a date night. And it's just, it's so cute. I, I'm obsessed with it. Okay. I don't know if you guys are ready for this because this is like very outside my comfort zone, but I love it. Look, the sun even came out for this piece. This is the only gets better mini dress in chocolate. Once again, very into like chocolate and silk and buttony dresses. This dress is perfect if you guys are like me and you're tall or you're mid-size and you're trying to kind of like accentuate those curves. I've said this a million times with being tall. Basically, my only option for dresses are like shapeless dresses because they have to be a, like a large or an extra large in order to fit me lengthwise. But I love dresses like these that cinch at the waist because they give me some figure as a tall gal. And I cannot wait to wear this out on a date night this week with a hat and some booties. I just love it. So it has these super cute flowy sleeves. I love everything about it. Also, great thing, versatile piece is you could unbutton this and kind of just wear it as like a long cardigan as well, which we love. But yeah, definitely out of my comfort zone, but I'm so happy I got it because I love the way it fits. I feel super confident in it and 10 on 10 in my books. <laughs> I really think that I could do a try on haul without an oversized graphic tee. Really? This is the My Kind of People graphic tee, which I love. Just the sweetest, sweetest quote, and it's so true. I love the look of this together. I think that the tan with the purple wording is so pretty and elegant. And once again, the sun is coming out for this shirt. It just loves it. I'm obsessed with everything about it. I love how perfectly oversized it is. I got it in the large, extra large again. This is what it looks like untucked. So it would be super cute with some biker shorts, but I just love the look of like a front tucked oversized tee. Would look super cute with like a plaid shirt or one of the like chocolate shirts that I got. So really, really love this. I think it is like the perfect quote. Super cute graphic tee. Alrighty guys, now that we did the fun little haul, I'm actually wearing one of the pieces now, I am going to head out and we're gonna do a little bit of fall shopping. I don't know if I'm actually gonna buy anything, but I wanted to definitely go and check some places out. My mom actually texted me that Walmart has their home decor out, which I'm really excited about because last year, Walmart hit the jackpot with their holiday stuff. It was amazing if you guys were watching me last year, my um, Christmas shop and decorate with me. So I'm really excited to see what they have this year. And I think the only thing I'm really missing and that I would like to get is like a few little pumpkins to put around the house. We don't really have many decorative pumpkins. We just kind of have literally this one. So if they have any like little um, pumpkins or like a baggie of little pumpkins. I'd love to get that. My mom sent me a picture yesterday and they have some really cute neutral pumpkins, which I'm excited about. She sent me this photo. So this one, I think it's so stinking cute. This one right here. So I didn't know. Hopefully they have some stuff in stock. So yeah, honestly, let's go check it out. I'm literally so excited. Let's just jump into it. Alrighty guys, I just had to do a quick little change because it's that weird weather. I totally jinxed it by saying that it's autumnal weather because it's that weird weather now where it's like 
too cold to wear a t-shirt and shorts but it's too warm to wear pants and a sweater so i'm doing that like shorts and a sweater look i also once again i just like the sweater because it doesn't have fleece in it so but we're gonna head out now i think we're gonna go to walmart and loblaws i really want a coffee <laughs> hey guys now that i have apple carplay i wanted to show you guys some of my favorite fall playlists so I obviously love spooky songs and regular fall music, but I'll start at the bottom. I love Renee Amberg's playlist. She makes really great ones. I love this one. Um, vintage autumn jazz gets me feeling some kind of way. I really love it, especially in the mornings. And then spooky season. These are just two different playlists, but these have a lot of like more of like the typical Halloween music in them. And then I really like this one as well, which is more of like a not actual spooky songs but it's more of like another autumn playlist so these are some of my favorite playlists i'll have them all linked down below but i think i'm gonna listen to this one like we even have a cutie little fall mask pumpkins all right let's go see what walmart has these are so precious we also have these really cool lantern lights. Okay, this is not bad. I'm pretty sure they have this at Home Goods though. <gasps> they also have the books. <gasps> oh, that's so cool. <laughs> it's very like Halloween-y stuff. I mean, they have like your typical like press the button spooky stuff. Some really cute signs, honestly. Actually, need one for the front door. I kind of like this one. This one is so cute. Not all witches live in Salem. Oh, this is actually a really cute bath mat. If you like trying to keep it simple, just got some baths on it. $2.48. And this would be really great for iced coffee, honestly. Right. We have come to the fall stuff. It's very farmhousey this year. Um, honestly, kind of reminds me of what you could get at the dollar store, TBH. But, oh, This guy's really cute. Very typical farmhousey stuff. Yes. Okay, you guys, this is the pumpkin I was talking about. This is so cute. I don't know where we'd put it, but it's cute. I had some good stuff if you were into like the farmhouse vibe, which I definitely was last year, but not anymore. But they definitely had some good finds. Um, I went in looking for the Silk Canada pumpkin spice creamer and i can't find it anywhere someone told me it's at fresh go and my mom's gonna check today and if that's the case that's where we're doing groceries tonight because i want to try it so bad they did have the pumpkin spice latte starbucks one but it does have dairy and while like i'm not dairy free i try and avoid dairy creamers because they're very heavy but matt and i obviously got the pumpkin pillsbury cookies the other day the ones that like everyone you know with a little pumpkin on them but i saw these and they looked new so i'm gonna bake some after or maybe just eat them raw because they're safety raw now um and try them out these are the pillsbury pumpkin spice cookies with like white chocolate cream cheese chips so i'm really excited to try these out they look super super yummy um but now we are going to head probably to Dollar Tree. I want to see Dollar Tree selection this year. I love Dollar Tree for like little pumpkins. It's super cheap. And then there's a Food Basics there. So I might check Food Basics to see if they have the silk creamer. But yeah, Walmart was not like a bust. I just like didn't really like any of the stuff, but they definitely had a decent selection. And they already had Christmas stuff out, which I find so funny. But anyways, let's head to Dollar Tree, see what they have. I love grabbing like wine glasses at Dollar Tree because if they break, they're only a dollar. And I'm looking for also something like non folly but I'm looking for a cabinet shelf, so I'm gonna go there as well. But yeah, let's head to Dollar Tree and the Food Basics, see what they have, and then we will head home and get started on our autumn bucket list. Oh, this is actually really cute. I might get this for the front door. I got my garland here last year and I loved it. This is actually super cute. I actually like think these oh my god these glasses are so cute okay so they have this one that says get your witch on this one and then I really want this one happy hauntings I really want this one tack is I found pencil crayons by the way I'm really excited I'm gonna color this in and then I kind of started to brainstorm stuff on my phone and then that way I can just kind of put it over and I don't have to spend a ton of time brainstorming so I'm gonna go ahead and put all of these over and then we will like color it in and stuff but first I want to put on some spooky music I love cinemagic park ambiance I'll have them linked down below but they have this one which is I don't know if you guys can see it fall time around magic kingdom and we're gonna do our bucket list I watch 
Alrighty guys, it didn't take long at all. I just kind of scattered them around. I definitely have like some more spots to fill in, but this is like the gist of it. I don't know if I should like highlight these or whatnot because I feel like it's kind of like sad and empty. I might like go ahead and take like this highlighter or something and highlight just the words. I don't know. We'll see. But here is my autumn bucket list. <laughs> 